Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're mixing it up. We have been doing so many drones lately, we thought it was time to do something a little different. We never really get to get our old stuff out and feature it on the channel. Now every now and then Abby and I will say, you know what, let's just go fly one of our old planes for fun, not put it on the channel. But we don't really do that for you guys. So today we're taking both of our favorite little axial trail trucks out. I have the Falcon G6 or the G6 Falcon, I can't remember. And Abby has the Deadbolt. They're both in the trunk. Actually, if you point it back there, you can get a little glimpse of the Deadbolt right now. <laughs> Uh, we have two batteries charged each, two cells, 5,000 milliamps per battery, that's four batteries. So one of those batteries can run for about two hours on one charge. That means today if we had enough daylight, we could drive for about four hours total. Now we're not going to be able to do that because it's already like quarter after six, but uh, we're going to go trailing a little and just have some fun. Now, we'll have these trucks linked in the description box below if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Just know that these are some of our personal favorites. We've held on to them for so long. Now, we hold on to a lot of the trucks that we have, but these are some of the oldest ones that we've had our hands on. And it's been close to a year since we've put power through these. So hopefully everything's still holding up okay. But this should be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's have some fun with these trucks.
Little frog, little frog. Right there on that tree. See him? Oh, nice. Hi, yeah. froggy. He's just hanging out. Yep. Do it. There you go. I don't think we can do this. No, no. Good job, though. <laughs> You're gonna make so many trails on people. Yeah. Abby's got the good trail. She's in a dried up creek bed. And do you smell something? You smell something sweet in the air? Get a big, big deep breath. I guess. Okay. These trees here, with all these big tropical looking leaves, mm -hmm. these are pawpaw trees. P A W P A W. And they only grow in kind of not necessarily low lying, but you see how it's very protected from the wind down here? And they smell, they smell very sweet right now this time of year because they have fruit on them. They look like a pear, but they have the texture and taste more of like a banana. It's hard to see, but there's one hanging off the you tree right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's a good size average pawpaw. It's kind of shaped like a pear a little bit. It tastes a lot like a banana. It feels like a banana. Yeah, like when soft. you squish it. Don't squish it. Well, when you just touch it, it feels yeah. like a banana. Yep. one battery and we're, we're packing it up now I mean the battery they just last forever we were probably out there for maybe an hour mm -hmm. just because we kept stopping and playing around with different trail areas and uh, showed you guys the pawpaw trees those were fun and uh, I'm telling you as good as it gets if you're looking for a trailing vehicle absolutely as good as it gets and Abby 
did the lights on hers 100% on her own. Yeah, they were um, really easy. I think I drilled a hole in the body were, for those you. Those were the axial brand lights. Yeah, yeah. I just drilled a hole and I just strung it right through there. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I know people have better setups than that, but that's my setup <laughs> and yeah. I'm proud of it. Yeah, we did good. You did good. And all it did was you lifted up the, uh, what is it, the steering servo box is what it goes into. Um, that box. The receiver, I think. The receiver box. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while. Yeah, it's going to be the receiver box because it just yeah. plugged right in. Right. No soldering or anything, yeah. which is awesome. Very nice. We always have toilet paper around. Well, allergies <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot for watching. Let us know what you guys think if you want to see more of the older vehicles that we have around or if you want us to continue doing new stuff all the time. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!